This morning we had a couple of vans coming in early for Wayne Lucas and uh, you know he's preparing for the season at Saratoga so he shipped in three vans this morning, three vans yesterday. He's filling up quickly. Um, we've had also a few vans for Dale Roman who's coming up you know to bring his big boy for the Travis so uh, hopefully we're gonna be bringing more action throughout the day. Um, you know it's easy these guys come out of uh, church here and they take a van ride for about 16 hours, you know, try to make the horses comfortable in the van as, as the best we can and try to bring, bring them here so they can compete, you know, full throttle until September, whatever it is, six, seven, whatever, you know, Labor Day. But, um, you know, the idea is just try to, try to try to bring them here in good shape and um, not too tired so they can compete right away. That's, that's what my job is all about, is to try to give them a good ride and try to give them the best service we can and, um, you know, just just to make sure the horse is well taken care of at all times, that's all, you know. Okay. Do not bear to the right, to the left. You go straight down, there will be a shoot on your right hand side, you'll see, uh, uh, what's his name, Price is over there. Yeah, I know where a shoot is, right there on the right, that's before you go around the curve there. Right. There's a shoot right yeah. there. Right. All right. It's on the other side. All right. You just got to readjust Bunch once in a while, you know, sometimes you have a plan and you think it's going to work out great, but, you know, something comes in the way and you just got to go around it and just... Make sure everything works out fine and that the horses are not being in distress or that nothing is going to go wrong for the horse. It's basically what it is. So we had to move shoots and we, we came to a closer shoot to the barn and it all worked out fine. Horse is happy in the stalls now and everything's fine. We uh, left Churchill Downs last night about 7.30 p.m. Um, heading this way. We stop every four or four and a half hours to water the horses, make sure that everybody's in, in good spirits and uh, not in any distress and anything like that. So adds a little bit to the trip, but uh, it's one of those things that we do just to make sure the animals are you know, taken care of. I started when I was young, young, at 13 years old back in France. I wanted to be a jockey, you know, jockey's dream or whatever. And then I guess too much soup or too much water, I don't know, but <laughs> I started growing too fast. But anyways, long story short, I ended up here in the United States. Um, work as an assistant trainer for about 15 years and um, one day I just got given the opportunity to go work for a very reputable bank company and uh, it's not something I plan on doing but it's something that I'm doing and I'm trying to do it the best I can. We pride ourselves you know on hiring horsemen that can drive trucks. Um, we, we take you know we take hauling horses very seriously. Um, you know, it's, it's important to us so we, we try to hire the best people and you know we have the best equipment and uh, so it's, it's a good situation. So what 90% of our employees at Sally have horsemanship, 90% of them, you know, unless they're working in the office. But the people that are actually working on the grounds and around the horses are horsemen. That's something that we take pride of. It's, uh, I think it's very important. You have to be able to adjust to situations like we talked about earlier. Um, these are animals, if you don't know um, what to do around them, then it's going to be very difficult to do the right thing. You have to know this animal. I mean, they, these are 1,200-pound animals. There's, there's no time to play around. When there is a situation, you have to be a horseman to know, you know, the, what it is that you have to do to make this all safe and, and not sorry. Basically. They're all different, you know. It, it's, it's funny. They're very much like humans. You'll have the ones that are scared of everything. You'll have the one that I think phases whatsoever. You know, they can take a van ride, a plane ride, and. And, and it's not going to affect them whatsoever. But you have some others who, uh, on the other hand, you know, just can't take the shipping as good. They get stressed out. It's a new environment. It's not their home, their own stall. It's, it's, it's a, a moving vehicle. It's, it's moving vehicles around the moving vehicles. You know, so so it, it can be very stressful for some of them. And, and, and uh, we will see that some horses actually show signs of stress, you know, like 48 hours after a big, after a big, um, a big shipment, for example, a 24-hour shipment or whatever. There's been studies proven that after a 24-hour period, the horse can actually spike a fever and all that, all do really, all do the stress. It's all related to stress. So, um, like I said, my job, try to keep him as stress-free as possible. That's the idea. Why don't you... Uh once you get all the right here. See, the thing in my ears is really great help because I can multitask, you know what I mean? Obviously, I like to be hands-on, so um, you have to be able to communicate with the trainers when they, you know, when they want to tell you when they want to go and how they want to do it, so I have to be able to communicate with them. So I'd say a big part of my day is on the phone, a lot of time on the phone. Um, but also, you have to be able to be on the ground and socialize with everybody. So you have to try to get you know, your trucks in early in the morning and try to get them out early in the morning because it's cooler. And then after that, you can organize yourself and go talk to the trainers and whatnot. So basically, do your groundwork. And uh, after that, it's just uh, to try to keep everything organized for the shipment you know, during the rest of the morning and 
basically, yeah, organizing. That's all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me know. This this is interesting because as you've seen, it's it's always different. It's always changing. Um, and a lot of guys that haul freight, you know, they, they, they bump docks, so to speak. They'll haul freight from one place to another place. They'll back into the dock. They'll offload them, load them, and, and there they go. Um, what we do, it's, it's, uh, it's different in that we, we get to deal with animals. We get to get out there and see, you know, really unique and, and beautiful places such as Saratoga Springs, New York. Um, so it's, it's ever-changing, and it, it's, it's refreshing. The one thing that I'm going to say is I am dedicated. The whole company is dedicated to the racehorse, and uh, I, I firmly believe that if I can give the best service for the horse, the trainer is going to be happy, and that's the only way it goes. If the horse is happy, the trainer is happy, I'm happy. That's where my life, you know, that's where basically it revolves around. Just try to keep them happy, and um, but super agent, no, I just, I just try to do the job that I'm has to do the best I can, and like I said, with them in mind first, you know.